Okay, it should... that was a fail. Let's try that again, except with success in mind. Or failure! Or sucking and failure. Okay, my frame rate did kill me there. So, uh, mashing the up button, not helping, so I'm gonna really try to mash it. And, uh, which is it? Oh, so close. Alright, so. Generally, smash, mashing buttons generally does it for me. Oh. Okay. Let's try it one more time, shall we? Alright, I'll make it this time. I'll make it this time, I promise. I will make it this time. Why? Because I'm a... F that didn't count. Okay, that dead. No, that's just me. You know, something else I've noticed about this game is the, uh... Besides the awesome soundtrack that's playing in the background, which I have here to uh, repeat a little bit. But, <laughs> uh... The backgrounds of this game are awesome. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Uh, what do I do here? Jump. I, for some reason, I don't think I was supposed to grab both of those, and I can't jump, so I'm just going to commit suicide now. But, um, besides the lack of my skill, the game is very enjoyable and pleasing to look at for being kind of a 2D flat thing. It's very similar to how the, uh, the last game was, because it had a separate moving speed background, which was kind of nice. And, uh, you know, if you, if you, like, look at it, you can see, like, the, that grass way down there on the background. It actually moves, so it's a layered background, which is really nice looking. And it gives kind of a depth to a game that's very 2D. So, uh, I'm gonna grab that, jump, save myself from death. And, uh, ah, hello, friend. Hello. Would you mind me getting past you? I'd really appreciate it. Okay, can't jump, so fall down. I have this figured out. I am not a failure. And, uh, yeah, okay, I can't. I don't think I can make it over that guy. There we go. So, uh, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this game. I kind of do, I like platformers, I really do. Because it involves a little bit of, uh, actual thinking. Unlike, uh, lots of, uh, shooter games, but... I also do like horror games, which... Why is there just a white one over there? What's this way? Okay, that's like a triple jump, I believe. Let's explore and fail! Miserably. Okay, so... I'm gonna jump over here. There's a black one over there that I think I can make if I take this. And... Die. Yeah, that didn't matter. I wasn't going to end up dying anyway because I took the white one when I really shouldn't have. Something I've learned in this game is don't take a jump if you already have that same level jump. Or it's lower jump. Just because... No! Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. The fails are just coming in like crazy. You know, that was the same thing with this boy where I was just failing my pants off. And I'm going to wait for the spike to go the other direction so I can actually live this time and jump over it and not fall off. And I think I have to grab this one. I've kind of noticed it's a progression of grab the next level jump. If I can, no, can I reach this one? Okay, I can't reach this one. So uh, I probably will need the double jump. Like I was saying, progression, I have a level one jump, so now I need the double jump which is the yellow one right there, which I think I can actually grab. Yes, I can. And uh, this will allow me to actually get a triple jump down here. And uh, anyway, I was saying about the uh, types of games I do like playing is ones that require some actual intelligence to play. I mean, you know, there's games like Call of Duty that really aren't actual well thought out games you know it's lots of shooting a and not to actually diss anybody who likes Call of Duty games or anything because you know I've played those games I've had fun with them and it's it's great but sometimes it's, just, it's kind of nice to have a bit more of a puzzle like game that keeps you moving I mean it's not like I'm gonna sit there and 
you know, not diss another game, but, you know, sit and play Mahjong, you know, where I'm flipping little cards over, or tiles, whichever one it is, uh, or, you know, stuff like that, I want to actually be doing something. And uh, that's a lot of what this kind of game is. Platformers are close to one of my favorite. I do like uh, story games that are kind of shooters as well. I've also very well enjoyed uh, horror games like uh, Amnesia, which I actually think I will actually start playing a little bit, uh, you know, recorded-wise. And uh, I think we we'll jump down here and grab this triple jump. Okay, I think I got this one. And, uh, yeah, see, they just added a nice dynamic if I gotta use the jumps to jump over those things. They introduced me on the ground. Very nice of them, and I fail. So let's try that again. I very well think I... No, don't grab that. <laughs> that would have been sad. And, uh, though I suppose this whole playthrough has been just kind of sad on my part. Saying how, oh, I like platformers, and I don't fail at them! But, uh... Am I really supposed to go that way? You know what? I'm gonna, ch you know, exploring apparently has, has done me good before, so I'm gonna jump down. Level two, level one, progression. So, uh, oh, oh, I can see clearly now. The talking's done. I don't know where that came from, but uh, I think I have this figured out now. So long as I can actually make this jump. So one two three yes I made it through with the level three jump which should allow me to get up here right yeah I never would have made that with a double jump okay so two three there we go grab the black ones and I am home free and uh, okay where am I oh Oh, okay, so that's that's where I... I think those are the games I just played, right? So, yeah, yeah, no. I just played these. So now I have to... Come back here. And... Go somewhere else. Because I've played these games... Yeah, play these ones. These were the. F this was like the first area. Is there anything down here that I can go to? Or is it just my death? I feel like it's just my death. Yeah, I just killed myself twice. Okay, and then uh, yeah, these are the levels I went through right here. And uh, can I go down here? No, down here. No? Okay, well... Dang, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this... I don't know, let's let's check out this last level. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the one I was just on. So, uh, let's head back. I wonder, can I... Why do they have that upper area there? Is there no reason for it? And, uh, by the way, this is, uh, I'm playing on a version, I believe it's 1.01. .01. Or 1.02, one of those numbers. Uh, I should be able to see it in the main menu when I go back. But uh, yeah, I believe, and I, <laughs> another assumption, I believe this is an alpha. So the fact that this has a very nice music soundtrack going with it and uh, quite a beautiful background that I've been enjoying quite thoroughly, along with some pretty cool mechanics and the fluttering his feet is just. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hilarious. I don't know why I get so much entertainment out of that kind of stuff, where I just committed suicide. Uh, but, yeah, um, you know, I'm trying to think of whatever else I could think of. Well, first off, uh, you know, to the uh, makers of this game, uh, I, mean, I have some serious fun with it. I mean, it seems like you added detail, like, you know, he's blinking right now, um, little uh, animations for some of this stuff are, look pretty nice. Uh, I like what you're doing with the puzzles. Uh, come up with some more levels. That'd be my first suggestion. Is uh, it's a bit bit short. Uh, I think I'm coming up on, you know, perhaps. I don't know. You guys on the video will see. So you're laughing at me right now. But I'm pretty sure I'm I'm hitting near half an hour here. So uh, 
at least by my calculations, I really should have put a watch up. But uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. If you come up with some more levels, I'll definitely play them if uh, you want to do it. I'm going to check back here because maybe this will bring me somewhere else. Oh, just to the start menu. Okay, so that's fine. And, uh, oh, let's look at the stats. Let's see if that helps me. World 1, World 2, World 3, 4. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. There's seven worlds. What did I do? Because here's World 1. All right, let's see, world one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, I never played, apparently. Same with this, I never played seven on that. I have, I have 42 deaths, wow. All right, so uh, level seven apparently is non-existent on the two worlds I've played, and uh, it goes up to uh, level six that I've been playing on the two worlds. Uh, perhaps these next couple worlds are worlds that have not been created yet, but he's still gotten the statistics. Uh, but, uh, if he gets some of those, if he's planning seven worlds, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I just have to ask you about, you know, it's like, what's with the seventh world level that, uh, seventh level that I can't apparently play? I want to go, go and check just one more time. And I think that, I think the intro changed slightly there, too. I got a yellow cube. Uh... Yeah, let's let's count them off, shall we? I just really, I really want to make sure I'm giving this game the credit to get. Yeah, there's six right here, six of them. You know, maybe it's just because I didn't grab those little uh, things there that's floating around. Perhaps that may be entirely my fault that I'm not getting the special something he was talking about before. Perhaps those I didn't grab all the blocks at some point. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure since this is just still a very early game, uh, besides it looking very nice, you know, I applaud you guys. But, uh, yeah, obviously, beginning game. I love that background. And I just committed suicide. Okay. Whew. Ha! <laughs> I was that I committed suicide to the background again. But, uh, yeah, I really do love that. You guys make good stuff. And, you know, with games like this, the uh, platformers, the controls got to be tight with jumping. And, you know, being as this is a game where you're jumping a lot that uh, I'm happy that the controls are pretty tight. I mean, it's responding pretty quickly, besides, you know, when my frame rate drops. But, uh, yeah, it's very basic, yet very cool. I, it, another thing you could perhaps add is maybe some sort of storyline. You know, I, I know this is about, you know, jumping to get from one end to the other, but why is he doing it? Uh, is this, what's, what's he going for? I mean, is he trying to find this way out of this someplace? I mean, that was the idea of Limbo. Limbo, you know, kid was trying to find his sister, and he was going through this world of darkness, in a sense. And uh, it'd be really cool to see some sort of storyline where you feel the importance of getting to the end of it. Uh, that was another thing with, you know, the, <laughs> the lots of these platformer games kind of go back to, you know, some older games. You know, there's Donkey Kong, where, you know, Mario was chasing them down to get to uh, Princess Peach, who uh, Donkey Kong had uh, stolen from him. And, you, you know, you, you feel you want to get to the end there to save the princess. So uh, if there was some element of that in it also, that'd be really nice. I mean, it's cool to make it through all the levels, you know, and it feels great when there's a hard one and you make it past it. But uh, having a bit more connection, I feel, would be kind of cool. But otherwise, great game so far. And uh, I've really enjoyed it, so thank you. And, uh, yeah, next time you guys do, just send me another message, and, uh, we can, we can get a couple more levels in. It'd be great to play. So, uh, peeps, this has been, uh, Jump, and this has been playing with, uh, me, Geos Chicken. Uh, I will see you, peeps, later!